Now let's go to kinetic energy. By definition, kinetic energy is the energy a body possesses due to its motion. If a body is not moving, it has no Ke. If a body is moving, it has Ke. Formula will be Ke equals to half m squared, where Ke equals to kinetic energy in joules, m is the mass of the body in kg, v is the speed of the body in meters per second. In calculations, solve the v squared first and then multiply it with the m and then the half. The square here refers only to the speed. So let's give it a go. Which one over here has the higher kinetic energy? The car moving at 40 km per hour or the car moving at 80 km per hour? It should be quite clear. The car at 80 km per hour should have the higher kinetic energy. Assuming both cars have the same mass, the one with the higher speed would have the higher kinetic energy. Now let's look at this scenario. Now these two vehicles are moving at exactly the same speed. However, one is a car, presumably with less mass, and one is a bus, presumably with more mass. So which one has a higher kinetic energy? If you said the bus, you will be correct. Assuming the speeds are the same, the object with more mass would affect this equation more, and therefore it would have more kinetic energy. Let's try an example. A car of mass 800 kg moves with a speed of 50 meters per second. What, what is its kinetic energy? the video here and try the question. Okay, now let's look at the answer. The Ke of the car is equal to half mv squared. So subbing into the formula, half times 800 kg times 50 meters per second squared will get you 1 million joules or you can summarize it as 1 mega joule. In the second example, a car of mass 1000 kg accelerates from rest, which is 0 meters per second, to 25 meters per second in 10 seconds. So, A, calculate the maximum kinetic energy of the car. Please pause the video here and solve it. Okay. The maximum Ke of the car is when the car is at its fastest, which will mean at 25 meters per second. So, using the formula as shown below and subbing it in, half times 1000 kg times 25 squared should get you 312500 joules. Then, perhaps in collaboration with chapter 3, they may ask you to calculate the force exerted by the engine of the car. So, we use the formula F is equal to MA. To find the force, we must find the acceleration of the car first. And we assume constant acceleration. Then we can use this formula V equals to U plus AT. V equals 25 meters per second, U equals to 0 meters per second, T equals 10 seconds. So, 25 is equal to 0 plus A bracket 10 and therefore you should get the acceleration to be 2.5 meters per second squared. Subbing it into the formula, mass equals to 1000 kg and therefore F, the force of the engine, equals to M times A equals to 2.5 times 1000 kg getting you 2500 newtons. So in summary, K is equal to half MV squared. If it is faster with the same mass, it will have more Ke. It has more mass with the same speed. It would also have more Ke.